here in the session we are going to discuss about uh, the anatomy of the celiac trunk so here we can see the image of the celiac trunk the celiac trunk is the anterior branch of the abdominal aorta and it is the unpaid anterior branch of the abdominal aorta supplying all the structures of the foregut as we can see here it arises from the abdominal aorta immediately below the aortic hiatus of the diaphragm which is located at the level of t12 that is anterior to the upper border of the vertebra l1 so whenever we talk about the origin of the celiac trunk we have to say that it arises from anterior aspect of the vertebral body that is upper part of the vertebral body l1 or upper border of the vertebral body l1 that is the origin of the celiac trunk immediately after its origin it divides into three branches the shortest one is called as left gastric artery the largest one is called as splenic artery and the medium sized one is called as common hepatic artery these are the three important branches of the celiac trunk so now we have to discuss one by one in detail here the first one is called as the left gastric artery so as you can see here the left gastric artery is the smallest branch of the celiac trunk it ascends towards the cardioesophageal junction at the cardioesophageal junction it sends off esophageal branches to the abdominal part of the esophagus and supplies the abdominal part of the esophagus and cardiac part of the stomach and some of these branches continue through the esophageal hiatus of the diaphragm and the anastomose with the esophageal branches of the thoracic aorta so here after supplying to these structures the left gastric artery itself turn to the right and descends along the lesser curvature of the stomach where it supplies both the surfaces of the stomach in this particular area and finally anastomose with an artery called as right gastric artery the right gastric artery is an important branch of common hepatic artery so there is an anastomosis between right gastric artery as well as left gastric artery at the lesser curvature of the stomach that is the reason whenever we discuss about uh, the blood supply of the stomach especially about the lesser curvature we say that upper part of the lesser curvature is supplied by the left gastric artery and lower part of the lesser curvature is supplied by right gastric artery because there is an anastomosis between left as well as right gastric arteries at the lesser curvature of the stomach this is what is about the anatomy of left gastric artery next is about the splenic artery this is the splenic artery we know that the splenic artery is the largest branch of the celiac trunk and it takes a tortuous course towards left that is along the superior border of the pancreas to reach the tail of the pancreas so at the tail of the pancreas it divides into numerous branches the same we can see over here this is the splenic artery divides into numerous branches which enter the hilum of the spleen so as the splenic artery passes along the superior border of the pancreas it gives off numerous small branches to supply the neck body as well as tail of the pancreas so approaching the spleen the splenic artery gives off short gastric arteries these short gastric arteries passes through a ligament called as gastrosplenic ligament which connects the fundus of the stomach as well as spleen so these arteries pierce pass through the gastrosplenic ligament to supply the fundus of the stomach so the fundus of the stomach is supplied by short gastric arteries which are the terminal branches of the splenic artery not only that at this particular anatomical location at the terminal part of the splenic artery also gives off 
the left gastro omental artery the left gastro omental artery which runs to the right along the greater curvature of the stomach and anastomose with the right gastro omental artery so there is an anastomosis with left gastro omental artery as well as right gastro omental artery at the greater curvature of the stomach in the same way we can say that the upper part of the greater curvature is supplied by left gastro omental artery which is also called as left gastro epiploic artery in the same way we can say that the lower part of the greater curvature is supplied by right gastro omental artery which is also called as right gastro epiploic artery this is what is about the splenic artery and the last one is the common hepatic artery as you can see here this is the common hepatic artery the common hepatic artery is a medium sized branch of the celiac trunk that runs to the right and divides into two terminal branches right this is the common hepatic artery this common hepatic artery divides into two terminal branches one is called as the hepatic artery proper and another one is called as the gastro duodenal artery right so hepatic artery proper and gastro duodenal artery are the branches of common hepatic artery so this hepatic artery proper ascends towards the liver and it divides into left and right hepatic arteries near the porta hepatis as the right hepatic artery nears the liver it gives off a small branch called as cystic artery to the gall bladder so remember that the gall bladder is supplied by cystic artery which is a branch of right hepatic artery right as well as left hepatic arteries are the branches of hepatic artery proper hepatic artery proper as well as the gastro duodenal artery are the terminal branches of common hepatic artery and the common hepatic artery is the medium sized branch of the celiac trunk now let us discuss about the gastro duodenal artery it is very important to know about the gastro duodenal artery the gastro duodenal artery give off the posterior as well as an important branch that is posterior superior pancreatico duodenal artery near the upper border of the superior part of the duodenum as you can see upper border of the superior part of the duodenum posterior superior pancreatico duodenal artery right the same thing you can see here posterior superior pancreatico duodenal artery so the same gastro duodenal artery on reaching the lower border that is lower border of the superior part of the duodenum this is on reaching the lower border this is the lower border of the superior part of the duodenum as you can see very clearly this particular artery that is the gastro duodenal artery divides into two terminal branches one is the right gastro omental artery this one right gastro omental artery which anastomoses with the left gastro omental artery which is a branch of splenic artery and also it gives off a branch called as anterior superior pancreatico duodenal artery so remember one important point anterior superior pancreatico duodenal artery as well as right gastro omental arteries are the terminal branches of gastro duodenal artery so before that only it is giving off a branch called as posterior superior pancreatico duodenal artery so we have anterior superior pancreatico duodenal artery posterior superior pancreatico duodenal artery as well as we have right gastro omental artery so the right gastro omental artery anastomoses with the left gastro omental artery at the greater curvature of the stomach so that is what i am talking about uh, the right gastro omental artery here as it passes to the left along the greater curvature of the stomach eventually anastomoses with the left gastro omental artery which is the branch of splenic artery so while it is passing along the greater curvature of the stomach the right gastro omental artery sends of branches 
to both the surfaces of the stomach in this particular area and also it sends off additional branches like uh, inferiorly these additional branches descend into the greater omentum and the anterior superior pancreatico duodenal artery the anterior superior pancreatico duodenal artery descends that is along with the posterior superior pancreatico duodenal artery supplies the head of the pancreas as well as to the duodenum so these vessels anterior as well as superior pancreatico duodenal arteries eventually anastomose with the anterior as well as posterior branches of inferior pancreatico duodenal artery these are superior pancreatico duodenal arteries these are inferior pancreatico duodenal arteries okay so there is an anastomosis with superior as well as inferior pancreatico duodenal arteries which supplies the head of the pancreas as well as to the duodenum so this is what is about uh, the anatomy of the common hepatic artery